friends and family. So I'm not going to lie, but I seriously thought about getting up here and doing the single ladies dance. <laughs> However, I am not. Sorry, people. <laughs> At first, I didn't think I wanted to make a speech at graduation. But as I thought more about it and about my time and experience here at Shell Heaven, I thought I need to make a speech. I, because I need to let everyone here know how much this senior class and this school means to me. We're not an ordinary class, just like we're not an ordinary school. Let's be honest, this year has definitely been one of the most, more memorable years at Shell Heaven. And I'm not just talking about the new sport board. When the Los Angeles Jewish community thinks of Shell Heaven this year, they may think about some of the events and changes that have happened, but what they really should know is that we, have the best, that we were one of the best and most successful graduating classes that Shell Heaven has ever seen. This school and my time here at times seemed a bit out of the ordinary, a bit unconventional, but these two qualities allowed for the school and its students to thrive as shown by this amazing class. I honestly cannot believe that after four years of schooling here, I am finally graduating. It seemed like this day would never come, that would never arrive. And to be honest, part of me never wanted this day to come. Behind me, or I guess beside, sit 35 amazing individuals. I truly feel honored to be part of Shell Heaven's graduating class of 2010. When I think about it, the class of 2010 pretty much embodies everything that a successful graduating class should be. We're smart, motivated, kind and funny, but most of all, we have become a class of leaders ready for what the future holds for us. I feel most comfortable when I'm around them, whether it's in class, the hallway, eating lunch, or hanging out on the weekends. They've been by my side through everything. They've seen my best side, my worst side, my funny side, and of course, my awkward side. <laughs> I seem to have become known as the awkward person among <laughs> both teachers and peers. I feel like if I were at any other school, this awkwardness would not be welcomed and encouraged as it has been here on my friends and classmates. I don't want to stand here and make a boring speech about how I've grown so much. I know that some people are expecting me to just randomly be funny, and I hate to spoil their expectations, but I have something not so awkward to say. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not going to stand here and improvise a speech and say whatever comes to mind first. Like the fact that we're wearing bigger colors, which is really awesome. <laughs> so here goes my not so awkward, almost serious speech. Four years ago, I came to Shell Heaven, nervous and excited to start a new beginning. I left the comfort of 12 years of Preston Academy to come to the colorful school that is Shell Heaven. I wasn't really sure what to expect. My two older brothers had gone here, and one of them was even going to be my senior. Was I going to make friends? Was I going to like the teachers? How was I going to be able to wake up in the morning and be at school from 7.30 until 5 p.m.? I soon made friends, I loved my teachers, and well, I managed 7.30 to 5 p.m. with the help of my friend, Coffee. <laughs> a few weeks ago, some of our guests at our Shabbat table said how crazy it is that a high school has a parent's committee. They said that high school is not about being fair. You listen to your teachers and administrators without giving an opinion. I thought for a minute about what she'll have it would be like without the fairness committee or agenda, and I realized it just would not be the same place. She'll have it goes against convention. Now, to some that may seem scary, and it may give off a bad vibe about the school, but she'll have it breaks convention because it's, moderate, it's a modern orthodox Jewish high school where boys and girls learn together, and because we have a just community, that empowers young people and gives students a voice. Shell Heaven's unconventionality produces leaders, thinkers, and creates passionate individuals. Not only is the school itself a bit unconventional and, per unconventional and quirky, but the students and teachers also seem to have a bit of these characteristics. Now, this is definitely by no means a bad thing. I'm definitely one of the more off students. But Shell Heaven seems to attract people who are always just a bit off. <laughs> Walking down the hallways, one can always hear the guitar, darfuka, laughter, singing, debating, etc. Shall have it as a place for self-expression, and in the students here, you will find just that. What brings everyone together is the uniqueness that is Shall Have It. Each student adds something of their own to the culture at Shall Have It, which adds to Shall Have It's wonderful unconventionality. 
It's sad to think that after four short years, it's all over. Four short years that seemed like they would never end, but somehow did. We're finished. We're gone. But we won't forget the last we had in this first year's 10th grade English class, or ninth period chemistry with Buckley, Dr. Yasha's extra club, when Ms. K brought in one word and made a Leora throw up. <laughs> Bible toes, real gay, shash fresh poker, Rabbi Rich learned his Gemara classes, the stress and work we thought would never end, and basically everything that has happened to, to Shalhev in the past four years. So I would like to thank everyone who has helped shape me and been a part of my life.